Hi there. If you have been machine polishing, especially with the rotary polisher, you probably encounter problems like this. On this paint here, um, you see this holographic stuff. Yeah, these are holograms. Uh, we also call this very, very fine swirls. Um, only visible when there's a spotlight. Under fluorescent tube or under natural lighting, you may not be able to see this, but under spotlights, under the sun, under the street lamps, yeah, you probably see it very obvious. So, um, there are a few ways to go around this. Uh, the easiest way is to get a DA polisher and remove it, but if you're not keen on getting a DA anytime soon, or if uh, you have a rotary polisher and you want to make full use of it, you want to stress your knowledge and your skills, here I am to share with you a few tips I personally use to remove holograms with the rotary polisher. Now, the key to reducing or removing holograms with a rotary polisher is to be less aggressive. Now, how do I be less aggressive? There are many ways to be less aggressive. Okay, so say for today, I'm using the Nail 46 and I'm getting a lot of holograms. Uh, I, want, I want to change to the Perfect Cut 20 as it is less aggressive. So I, in this way, I will be less aggressive. All right, that's number one. Uh, number two, swap the pads. Today, if I'm using the yellow pad, uh, and I'm getting holograms, I want to change to a black finishing pad to get less, to get less holograms or hopefully to remove them. So uh, how do I see if it's aggressive or less aggressive? Uh, you can see from the foam type or you can check with the manufacturer to see which, is, which, has less, uh, which is more aggressive and which is less aggressive. Other than changing the pad type, uh, even with the same foam, a seasoned one, and a brand new one, there's a difference in aggressiveness. The brand new one usually is a little bit more aggressive than a seasoned one. Now, the seasoned one, over time, it will look something like this. Okay, you can see uh, that the structural integrity has been torn apart. Uh, it's softer, hence giving less, uh, less aggressiveness. Hence, hence giving less, I would like to use the word cutting. Uh, Cutting is more natural for me, but anyway, um, if you want to know more about cutting, there will be another video about cutting. So, um, less aggressive with a seasoned pad, more aggressive with a new pad. Now, apart from this, you can also get less, you can also be less aggressive if you use a larger pad. Now, a smaller pad, it has more concentration, it is more aggressive, and a larger pad with wider working surface, less concentration, less aggressive. Now, apart from changing polishes and changing pads. Um, you can also tweak your technique to get less aggressive. Now, I want to show you hands-on how I tweak my technique to get less aggressive. Now, tip number three to use the technique to manipulate the aggressiveness. Uh, let me show you one thing. Uh, in rotary polishing, usually we will keep the pressure on to get more cutting, to be more aggressive, to remove the defects faster. Uh, to reduce its aggressiveness, we will just use the weight of the machine, we do not pressure. So in this way, it is less aggressive. Now, to go even beyond that, let's just say the paint is too finicky, it's too soft. Uh, what I will use, or what I will implement today is called a negative pressure, whereby you lift the machine up. You lift it up, okay, so you are you're not going down, you are going up. So you reduce, you go negative beyond the pressure to get very minimal cutting. Okay, tip number four to be less aggressive is faster arm speed and work at the larger area. We've always been told to work at a smaller area, uh, no, sorry, a two by two area, and uh, that is when I want to do cutting. So when I'm not doing cutting, I will work at a larger area. Now, let me show you what I mean. So, uh, when I want to remove a defect, when I want to grind the paint, this is what I will do. I will push it down, I will work, I will work at a smaller area, uh, I will increase the contact time, the contact surface, hence giving more aggressiveness. Now, today I want to reduce holograms, I'm getting holograms by doing this, so I, I want to increase my arm speed and also at the same time work at a larger area. By doing so, I'm actually 
reducing the contact surface, reducing the contact time, therefore reducing its aggressiveness. Tip number five, which is pretty obvious, the machine speed. Now my go-to speed when I want to remove defects, when I want to cut the paint, I will use about speed three, three and a half, which is about 1007 or 2000 RPMs. Now, if I want to reduce or remove holograms, this is where I want to move it to around speed two or even speed one and a half. All right, so let me show you. Um, I'll set it to speed three first, okay? This, this is cutting. This is aggressive. So I want, I want to remove holograms. I want to remove holograms. Use speed 2. And uh, sometimes maybe even 1.5. One 1.5 one is about less than, a, less than a thousand RPM. It's about 800, 900. Yeah. So you control the machine speed and uh, to your liking. If you want aggressive, go fast. If you want to remove holograms, go slower. into practice of what I mentioned earlier, uh, I'll be using the Perfect Cut 20. I'll be using a seasoned black pad and the techniques that I mentioned earlier to remove holograms on this paint here. Okay, so uh, low speed, low pressure, wider working surface, and a, a faster arm movement speed. Well, actually for this paint, the speed I'm working is at, actually at about 600 RPM, which is the lowest speed setting, speed one. Right. Uh, well, this paint is not that finicky. I don't think I need to use negative pressure. I'll just use the weight of the machine. Also, there's one more, one more thing I didn't mention earlier. Uh, sometimes on soft paint, whereby it's easy to create holograms, uh, you want to use a little bit less product. You don't want products to gum up, or you don't want products to oversaturate. Uh, yeah, as you, as you can see just now, I use minimal products and I work quite a bit. All right, some polishing oils there. Buff it off. All right. I will use a pre-coating cleaner, which is which mainly consists of alcohol to remove the polishing oils to make sure that I actually do not cover the holograms or scratches or whatever, and uh, yeah, make sure that the paint is really corrected. It's always good practice to use a wiping solvent or alcohol, glass cleaner, anything, even shampoo after you polish to ensure that what you've done is properly, uh, the defects is properly removed and uh, not covered by polishing oils. Although polishing oils are not intended to cover um, those are solvents. Uh, solvents are a little bit oily and uh, it's main to lubricate the working process but anyway yep what I'm gonna show you is I've managed to remove holograms on this paint with perfect cut 20 with a seasoned black pad with light lighter less aggressive technique with lighter pressure wider arm speed 
uh, sorry, wider contact speed and a faster arm speed, and of course, a slow and a slower RPM. So there you go, reducing and removing holograms with a rotary polisher. Now remember the keyword for today, be less aggressive. Now do give it a, do give it a shot and let us know. Uh, also um, in this video I'll let you know that uh, if there's other detailing topics that you want us to cover, please leave them on the comment box below. And as always, remember to subscribe, like and share our videos. I'll see you next time. And uh, if I even want to go less, I even want to be even more less aggressive. <laughs>